Welcome back. Still here at the fourth annual uh, Chipley Bridal Expo. Here now with Vicki Baker. If you're a regular viewer of the show, you've seen Vicki before on the show uh, talking about just exactly this thing, her food services in conjunction with uh, the Bridal Expo as she is today. Vicki, um, again, you've been on the show before. Was it Vanessa Wynn or myself that interviewed you last time? It was you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so we kind of have a rough idea, but for our viewers, talk about what you do and where you're located and uh, what your business is all about. Okay. We are located in Mariana on uh, Jackson Street. We're one block behind the Subway Sandwich Shop there in uh, Mariana. We've been there seven years, and a lot of people are still like... We didn't even know there was a bakery here, so you guys need to find us and come visit us. We have cinnamon rolls and muffins and cookies and brownies. We also serve lunch now, um, so we have an open dining room from 11 to 2. We do catering. I do customized birthday cakes, wedding cakes. Um, I work in buttercream and fondant. Um, just whatever you would like, we can create for you. And I think that you and I joined the Jackson County Chamber just about the same time because I remember meeting you over there at one of those First Friday yes. events. Um, how is your business doing? Seven years in business now. Um, have you grown with the economy being as challenging as it is? Have you held even? What, what's going on? Um, we've pretty much held even. Um, this past year was a real struggle. Um, I don't really know why it was harder this year, this past year than any year before because our sales had increased, but just the bottom line was was difficult. But we're still there, and um, it's thanks to our wonderful customers, and we have increased our catering business, which I feel has had a, um, a direct impact on our doors being open. Yeah, I would imagine that that would be a huge uh, boost to your bottom line. Are you being affected by Obamacare? Do you have employees and are you being affected by all of that? Um, not at this time. I do have employees, but we have not felt, um, you know, any of that crunch as of yet. Um, I know in years to, you know, a couple more years down the road, we'll probably feel a little bit, be a little bit worse. But we have less than 50 employees, so I don't have to provide that um, insurance at this point in time. So. Anyway. And I'm not trying to get political I here, but I, I, I do like to ask those questions sure. of small business owners. I've yeah. been a small business owner myself for a lot of years, mm -hmm. and, and obviously we live in a different world. We're, right. we're, we're the most highly taxed well, uh, segment the, of the society. The taxes um, really do make it difficult. Um, those months when I'm real excited because there's money in the bank, and then my husband tells me we have to pay payroll tax or unemployment tax, and I, it's very disheartening because there goes whatever I thought <laughs> was going to be profit and we pay it all out in taxes. Every once in a while, I'll think that we're doing really well, and then my wife tells me about those three checks that haven't cleared yet, and that, there goes that $10,000 that I exactly. thought was ours. Um, you're doing well. You've got a great attitude, and you've got a great product, obviously. Um, do you anticipate staying in the location in which you find yourself now for the, for the foreseeable future? Yes. At this time, um, I look around from time to time for new locations, but... I'm not going to move. It's not going to be a lateral move. If I move, it would be something that would be exactly what I'm looking for. And right now, there's just nothing out there, so I might as well stay where I'm at. So Understood. people know where I'm at here, and the rent's affordable. So <laughs> Yeah, now that people are starting to find out where you are, don't, don't change that. Right. Um, when, you, when you mentioned uh, fondant, uh, you know, everybody watches the Cake Boss and all of the shows on right. TV. We are doing a, a new series of shows ourselves in which we're featuring restaurants, going in, talking to the chef or the restaurant owner, featuring uh, uh, the ability to watch them make their signature dishes. Okay. Is there some opportunity at some point, maybe for us to come over and sure. uh, visit with you in your kitchen yeah, and, and maybe fun. document yeah. uh, a little bit about what you do? Sure. We don't. We don't. So far, as far as I know, we don't. We're not. We don't have anybody scheduled okay. that, in the dessert industries, okay. and and I think that that would be kind of fun. That would so be fun. We'll do Marianne's own cake boss. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that, but. <laughs> Well, Vicki, thanks for being here today. Thanks for being a, a strong supporter of this show. How many years now that you've been at this show? We've been here every year. Uh, is it four? Is this four. the fourth? Yeah. So we were here at the first one, and we've been here every year since. So So it's obviously paid dividends for you to be here? It has. Um, we have at least two or three brides each season um, that comes from this show. So it's it's worth our time. Well, good. And, and so, again, thanks for being here. Um, here now with Vicki from uh, Sweet Stuff Break, Baker, Breakery. Yeah, Breakery. Easy for me to say. Vicki from Sweet Stuff Bakery in Mariana, Florida. Uh, wonderful stuff. And when we get done here, I'm going to come over here and, and see if I can't 
snaggle some of that food for myself. You're watching Real Florida Magazine, and if you or someone you know would like to be a guest on the show, or maybe there's something you'd like to see featured, just give us a call, drop us an email, or visit our website at realfloridamagazine.org. We'll be right back with more from Real Florida Magazine. Welcome to the people, events, and business of the Real Florida. Real Florida Magazine highlights the pristine, unspoiled Florida, from special events to businesses to just getting away from it all. Real Florida Magazine offers a taste of the real Florida, the way it's supposed to be. Now available free of charge almost everywhere. So take a deep breath, relax, and get back to what's important. Check us out at realfloridamagazine.org. We'll be waiting for you. Welcome back. Still here at the fourth annual Chipley Bridal Expo. Here now with Larry Polston. Larry, a, a longtime participant in this event. Larry, how many out of the four events or four uh, bridal expos have you participated? Uh, in this one here, I've been, are you asking me like the last mean, several years? Yeah. Okay, probably, I reckon the first time that they had one, what, five years ago? Four. This is the four, fourth Okay, one the now. fourth year. So you've been fourth. here every year? I've been here every year. Um, you're a longtime fixture in the wedding industry, um, and, and that's no aspersion about your age, yeah. but you're well-respected, and um, you seem to do uh, the right stuff because well, people know that. who you are. I appreciate that. You shared with us last time that you have people coming back to you with multiple generations, so if you performed uh, uh, the services for somebody's wedding, you're finding that yeah. kids are coming back. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and also, I do proms in the area an average of seven proms a year. And from that, the kids will, when they get ready to get married, they'll, they'll come see me. But you're right, uh, the, the mothers have got married and then uh, their daughters are right on back. Um, talk a little bit about what you do. For those of our viewers who are not familiar with Larry Polston, um, talk a little bit about exactly what you do and, and where do you do it? Okay, we're out of Bonifay, which is like my, nine miles away from Chipley right there next to I-10, and I have a warehouse and a showroom, and I'm a uh, event decorator, event designer, and a event light of lighting. And uh, so what, what I do is I design the weddings and um, have a lot, of, a lot of input from my our daughter lives in Dallas, Texas, and I go out there and visit them, and I go to the uh, wedding expos in okay. the wedding district. Get a, I get a lot of ideas and bring bring that back to this area. So uh, as you can see here, this is more country. Burlap, as of right now, is the big thing. But also the brides like the bling bling and the the mod, kind of like uh, like Vegas, New York City, and uh, so I can be very vers versatile in the, uh, in the decorating. I can go either, either direction they would like to go. Well, with your daughter being out there in that urban area of Texas, uh, probably bring some, uh, some of the ideas that are, are new and exciting in the industry. Is that, would that oh, be Oh, yes, by all means. And I have learned, uh, like, warehouse companies that, that it's hard to find on the Internet. And uh, the companies also out there that do platinum weddings. I have become close friends of theirs, and they've gave me a lot of their their secrets and i have brought those back uh to this area and uh it, it helps it, it does it helps a lot well larry thanks for being a longtime supporter of this event thanks for for being a vendor out here um it's a great day uh, a little bit different setup this year no fashion show this year but it doesn't seem to be to the detriment of the event right. we seem to be having a steady flow of people through here oh, by all means. super bowl not till seven tonight so people should be able to come out here and spend the entire three or four hours right. and uh and not miss the game uh, again, thanks for being here and thanks for talking to us. Thank you. I enjoyed it. We're here at the fourth annual Chipley Bridal Expo right now with Larry Polston uh, having a great time. This is a, a great event. Uh, uh, as we look around, there are a lot of vendors and a lot of people here enjoying the day. Gorgeous day outside, so if there are, are fewer people than we'd like, they're probably out there enjoying this good uh, Florida uh, midwinter weather. You're watching Real Florida Magazine, and we'll be right back.